So word on the streets of the anime Twitter community is that there's an anime this season that's actually worth watching. I didn't mean that Ina, it was just an expression. This season, Jujutsu Kaisen is the hottest commodity in the eyes of anime watchers. This anime is being animated by MAPPA Studios, the same guys who animated God of High School and will also be animating the newest season of Attack on Titan, so expect some crazy fight scenes. I, I don't know why I said it like that, but um, yeah. The manga released in 2018, and as of October 2020, it has sold 10 million copies. So with such a solid background, let's see if Jujutsu Kaisen lives up to the hype. Jujutsu Kaisen takes place in a world where there are evil curses that only certain people can see. These curses attack unsuspecting bystanders and wreak havoc across the world. Normal people aren't even aware of these curses as they can't even see them. That's where sorcerers come in. There are people with special abilities to take down these curses. Oblivious to all this is Yuji Itadori, a high school student who spends most of his time chilling with his clubmates and if he's not doing that, he's visiting his dying grandpa. Unfortunately, his grandpa ends up passing away, and Yuji tries his best to live by his last words, which was to help others and if Itadori were to ever die, make sure to be surrounded by people. He does exactly this when a curse suddenly attacks his friends because they got a hold of some weird finger. At that very moment, he gained the ability to see these curses. Although he can see them, Itadori wasn't strong at all. All hope was lost, but then, Megumi, came to save the day. Oh, sorry, wrong Megumi. This is Megumi. He's a sorcerer and has the ability to summon different types of beasts. Although he is stronger than Itadori, the curse manages to put both of them in a rough spot. This is where things get a little interesting. So you know that old finger I mentioned before? Well, it's actually a cursed item and if these spirits eat it, they gain an enormous amount of power. So our main character decides to eat it. After getting fingered in the mouth, <clears throat> I mean consuming the finger, there's a very slim chance he will live, but he's the main character, so of course he's gonna live and become super strong. The only problem is that the spirit inside the finger is conscious inside his mind. Luckily, Yuji can control when to let the spirit take over and can stop it anytime he wishes. After they defeat the curse, Satoru Goju who is not only Megumi's sensei, but also the strongest sorcerer in the world. He decides to challenge the cursed spirit inside Yuji, and beats the living crap out of him. This guy is basically Kakashi from Naruto, and I'm not mad about that one bit. So anyways, he takes in Yuji as a new student in order to use him to get rid of the rest of the fingers. And surprisingly, Yuji is pretty chill about that. He just wants to be useful and save the lives of others. Aww. So we all know great things come in threes. That's where Nobra Kugisaki comes in. She's a confident, independent girl who uses steel nails and straw dolls to kill evil curses. So we have the sensei, the main character, the main character's rival, and the girl for that sexual tension. And now we're off to save the Hidden Leaf Village, baby! Jokes aside, Naruto and Jujutsu Kaisen are completely different, and I'm enjoying the anime a lot more than I thought I would. Being 24 episodes long, I can't wait to see how they expand on the trio's character development. To answer the question, is Jujutsu Kaisen as good as everyone says? To put it simply, yeah, it does. But by no means is it going to be as popular as the Big 3 or even Demon Slayer. I see the anime more like a Parasite or a Megalobox where there's a lot of hype when the anime is airing, but once it's done airing, few people will talk about it and that's okay. So yeah, I hope my topsy-turvy answer was enough for y'all. If you all enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to keep up with all my latest uploads. Till next time, peace.